Hi, Marvin McKenzie here um, with my daily visit with God this morning. I was reading out of the book of Judges. I read Judges chapter 13 and chapter 14. I also read um, Revelation chapter 8 today in my daily visit with with God. And the passage that uh, kind of struck me this morning that I thought I would just uh, spend a little bit of time thinking about is in Judges chapter 13 and verse 8, the Bible says that uh, there's a man by the name of Manoah. It's at a time when uh, Israel is doing evil in the sight of the Lord. There's no judge. There's no leadership. They're, they're doing whatever um, is right in their own eyes. And uh, Manoah's wife is visited by uh, a man of God, which turns out to be an angel. And the angel says she's going to have a child, gives her sp some specific instructions in raising that child. And she goes to her husband, Manoah, and uh, and then t explains, ex expresses to him what had happened. And he immediately says, well, I want to hear uh, from this man of God myself. I want to hear too. And so the Bible says in Judges chapter 13 and verse 8, Then Manoah entreated the Lord and said, O my Lord, let the man of God which thou didst send come again unto us and teach us that we what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. So the child's going to be born. And um, Manoah is interested in hearing what his wife has heard as far as instructions um, for raising that child. And, you know, I, a couple of thoughts came to my mind. You know, this ought to be the, this ought to be the kind of prayer that every parent prays. God... Um, teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. Uh, teach us how to raise uh, our kids. God, show us what it is you would have us to do in, in the raising of our children uh, for your glory and for your honor and to please you and to teach us to do it. And a few things that came to my mind when I did that is that Manoah, he sought uh, direction personally. Uh, it was good that his wife had heard um, from the man of God, that was good, and it was, but it wasn't good enough. Uh, parenting is a partnership, uh, not just you know the mom does a debt, husband goes out and get, earns a living, and mom stays and watches the kids. Parenting is a partnership that the father needs to be part of too. He wants to know, um, he wants to personally know what it is to serve the Lord, what it is to to parent, and what God's instructions are. I think this is very important. It's that mom isn't the only one who teaches the kids the Bible. That mom isn't the only one who attends church services. That mom isn't the only one who um, who who learns the Word of God and obeys the Word of God and encourages the children in godly things. This needs to be a mom and dad thing uh, that uh, the father is involved in too. So the second thing is that he sought his direction, his instructions. He sought him from a man of God. God, please send a man of God to teach what we shall do unto the child that shall be born. They weren't looking for a counselor. Uh, they weren't looking for a therapist. They weren't looking for a child expert or a school teacher. They were looking for a man of God to give them the instructions that they needed to raise their kids uh, for God's glory. And then, though, they received instructions that were of a heavenly nature. Um, so they sought a man of God. By the way, their answer was, their request was answered. They got a man of God. They sought a man of God. God gave them a man of God. But it turns out that the man of God was an angel. They didn't realize it. Um, they didn't know that their teacher was an angel until the very last uh, part of this thing. You know, when we receive instructions from man of God, we go to the house of the Lord, we hear the word of God preached and taught. The man of God opens the word of God. Whether we know it or not, we are hearing from heaven. God is speaking to us and we are hearing from heaven. And um, uh, may more and more people listen to what God has to say from the man of God and hear from heaven through the man of God. I'm Pastor Marvin McKenzie. I'm, the, I'm Marvin McKenzie. I'm the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Puyallup, Washington. And this is my daily visit with God.